What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. JP the Stock Guy here bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to share with you guys my 401k strategy. This is an account I recently started putting money into over the past, I'd say about two months or so. And today I'm going to explain why I am doing this, kind of the pros and cons of a 401k, as well as my 401k holdings and the benefits that I see with putting money into this. So make sure you stick around and let's jump right into it. Now, if you enjoy this 401k video or find it beneficial or entertaining, please drop a like down below and hit that subscribe button. It only takes half a second and I'd really appreciate it. So starting out with the first question a lot of you may have is what is a 401k? Well, a 401k essentially is an employer retirement plan. With a lot of 401ks, the benefit of it is that you can put money into it and your employers will match a certain percentage of your income depending on how much you put in. Now in a traditional 401k, you can deduct that from your taxes. So let's say you make $100,000 a year and you put 5% of your income or $5,000 into your 401k. And let's pretend your employer matches 5%. In total, there was $10,000 deposited. And that $10,000 you can then deduct from your 100k salary. So that's kind of one of the benefits of the 401k is that you can get free money from your employer essentially because look, you only put in 5,000, but your account's sitting at 10,000. We haven't even bought a holding yet. We haven't even, we have not even invested in a stock or an index fund yet. So you get the free money from the employer, plus you get to deduct, which is also very nice. And you don't need to manually do that. If you are, you know, about to start a 401k or are curious about it, once you already enroll in it with your employer, they will do the deducting for you. It's not like you have to go in and manually do that at the end of the year, just so you guys know. So those are a few benefits with the 401k. Now, look, Looking at my 401k, I did choose to go a little bit different route than the traditional 401k, and that is because I have a Roth 401k, meaning that I pay the taxes up front and I still get the match from my employer, but I don't have to pay taxes when I go to retire. So I pay the taxes up front right now. I do not get to deduct from my income, so I don't get that benefit. But then when I'm 60 or 65 or whenever I retire, I will not have to pay taxes then. So it's very similar to the difference between a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA with the deduction and the tax stuff. It's pretty much the exact same thing as that except with a 401k. So with a Roth IRA or a Roth 401k, you pay the taxes up front, but you can't deduct this from your income. But when you go to retire, you won't have to pay anything in taxes. Compared to the other option, which would be a traditional IRA or traditional 401k, you do get to deduct, but then you pay the taxes later. So that's kind of the trade-off there between traditional accounts and Roth accounts. Now, one really nice thing with 401ks in general is that you can contribute a lot more money into them compared to just the IRA account, um, which is really nice. So for example, next year, they just increased the 401k limit to 22,500 compared to even if you have a traditional or a Roth IRA, your own personal account, I believe that got increased to 6,500. So a big difference there, you know, 22,500 compared to 6,500, you can put way more money into your 401k, which is one pretty nice benefit of it. So you guys know me, that's why I'm going the Roth route. I like to, you know, I'll pay the taxes up front if it means that I don't have to pay it later. That's why I have a Roth IRA. And that's why I'm also gonna have a Roth 401k. Now moving into my holdings, I just chose one index fund that basically tracks the S&P 500. It's called DFUSX. Um, I mean, I would have picked VU if that was an option, but your employer gives you all the options for your investments. And that was the closest thing I could find that would track the S&P 500. Has a really low expense ratio. I mean, it's exactly what I need just to follow the market and it works out perfectly fine for me. So moving forward for my monthly dividend videos that I do, I also throw in a portfolio update there. I'm gonna start including that 401k number with the total since that's gonna be growing and compounding as well. Um, I'm gonna be getting that free match from my employer. So I definitely wanna include that in the total since of course it's another part of my investment portfolio. And yeah, that summarizes the video for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, remember to drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh -huh.